Okay, class. Um, next, we're going to actually start working on our uh, first little potion here. Uh, we're going to go over here to the other side, and I'm going to walk through the basic tools that we're going to be using. Um, first thing you need to know is right up here, we have these four little squares of increasing size. The first one is a one pixel, um, one pixel pen tool. Goes up to two, three, and then four. You can kind of see the preview there on the screen. We're going to be working with the one. We're going to start out with the pen tool right here. Uh, the pen tool is just a basic, if you click on your screen, you can draw, and it will basically just draw into the grid. Um, if you want to undo what you've done, you just hit on your uh, Chromebooks, it'll be Control Z. On my Mac, it's Command Z. You can just hit that as many times as you want, just take a step back. So I'm actually not going to start with the pen tool. I'm going to start with the vertical mirror pen tool. You can see if you mouse over it, it shows up a couple of uh, different commands. You can either hold down Control or Command to use the horizontal axis, or Shift to use horizontal and vertical. For now, we're just going to use it in its standard variation. So I want you to go up near the top, kind of near the middle. I want you to click once. Sorry. I want you to click once. You'll notice that two, um, two pistols appear at a single moment. So it's basically creating a mirrored... Uh, it's a mirrored line right kind of through the center. So I want you to draw a line kind of like this and like this. And this is going to be the cork in the top of our bottle. And then just drawing along the side here, we are going to create just a little, um, a little potion bottle. So da -da -da. There we go. And draw along the bottom. So, it's just a basic little drawing. Um, I kind of don't like uh, this these two pixels here, so I can go over here to my eraser tool, or E, and I can just click on those two to erase them. So now I've got a basic bottle shape. Um, if I wanted to change it slightly, that's certainly easy enough to do. I can just go back to my vertical mirror pen tool, and maybe I want a slightly wider bottle like this, and I can just erase these ones right here. There we go. Kind of like this shape. Okay, so make sure that this one is set at full size or 10 times size. Depend <coughs> Pardon me. Depending on the size of your uh, of your pistol. Okay, you'll notice that black has shown up in our color palette because we've used black in our drawing. So the next thing I want you to do is go over here, and this is your color picker. Um, we're going to click on the one on the top, and we are going to pick a color for the inside of this bottle. The color picker works like this. You have your shades and tones right here, and then you have your hue um, slider on this side. So let's slide down into kind of a lightish blue, and then drag our shade and tone selector up to kind of like a lightish blue color like this. Then I'm going to select my paint bucket tool, or B, right here. And we're just going to click inside of our bottle. To fill it up with a nice sort of glass bottle color. Now, the way I do my shading and highlighting in Piskel is uh, really simple, and I find this is the best way to uh, do it. So while this color is selected right here, we're going to click on it once. You'll see that this is where our current color has been selected. I'm just going to click on that. I'm just going to drag it down slightly. And then I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm going to add in a little bit of shading here. Just along this one side to create a little bit of a shadow effect um, on the bottle. I'm also going to maybe just put one right there. Okay. And one right there. And I got a little bit of a shading effect there and maybe one right there. Okay, so that adds just a little bit of directional lighting. You'll see that now I have my black, my shaded blue, and my light blue. So if I wanted to draw some more with my light blue, I can just click on it, and then click back over here and change what I've done, right? So very, very simple. Let's now add a little bit of uh, color to the cork of this bottle. So let's once again click here. I'm going to drag it up to kind of the brownie orange area, and then down here kind of like a tan color. 
Um, if you're wanting to do the exact same colors as me, right here underneath here is a hex code. And so if you type in C5B278, it'll actually give you this exact code. So that is the code for the color brown I'm using. Once again, paint bucket tool. And I'll do the exact same thing I did before. Click on this, drag this down just slightly to get to my shade. Grab my pen tool and add just a little bit of a um, little bit of shading to the cork of the bottle. One last thing we're going to do before we start moving on is we're going to name the layer that we've drawn this on by double clicking on it and we're going to name it bottle. So B-O-T-T-L-E. You must hit enter or return in order for it to accept the name for that layer and that is where we are going to pause this video.